Hey there! In this video I'm going, to show, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple but effective CRM with ManyChat plus Google Sheet which you can then grow and add more complexity and do more stuff. Right. So if you don't have a CRM, if you don't have some way of, create, of keeping tabs on your audience, on your customers, the best, the fastest, easy step to start with is putting that information in Google Sheet and that's how we're going to, that's, this is what we're going to see today. So let's walk through the scenario, right? So this is, I, I created here a very simple mini funnel, all right? So the, my funnel is this, right? When the person comes here, they get this first message. When they type the word mini funnel on my WhatsApp, they get this first message. And at this stage, they become a prospect. Now, whenever they click on this button, I will change them to the interested state. And at that stage, the person is now in another stage of my funnel, right? They are interested. Once they click here on get a quotation and say, hey, I'll send them the quotation and they they become, they will move to the stage got quotation. And if they like the quotation and buy, I'll move them to the stage client, okay? So I wanna keep tabs of all this, see what's happening. And I've created this very simple Google Sheet here where I'm gonna store their contact ID, their WhatsApp number, their phone name, the current stage that they're in, if they are in one of those stages that we mentioned, and when this was last updated, so I know how old or uh, how long ago the la this person took the last action, right? This again is a very, very simple CRM uh, and uh, customer tracking solution. We can implement this and we can make this a lot bigger if we want, right? So let's play around with this, let's do this. What we have to do now is between these stages here, we have to send information to the Google Sheet and um, make sure that it's updating as the person takes the next actions, right? The way I like to do this is to keep anything that is connected to the Google Sheet on a separate, um, on a separate flow. So if I have to make changes or change the CRM in the future, it becomes quite easy. So let's start preparing this. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of action blocks. And there we go. I'm going to add it all the way. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to create a variable called CRM stage. Okay. Let me just copy this. There we go. User field, create a text user field with the CRM stage. Okay. All right. And the first one I'm going to create is prospect. The next stage here in the middle is going to be. We just pause. so when they click this button, they become interested. All right. The next stage here, when they click this button, is got quotation. And finally, the next step when they click on the buy button. Oh, duplicate that. Now I'll go again. When they click the buy button, they become a client, right? So on this first step here, I am doing the first thing, which is having this information on my ManyChat CRM, right? But the reality is the ManyChat CRM is, uh, there we go, I got an extra one here, there we go. The ManyChat CRM many times is difficult to, to read and to get stats on and everything. So it becomes a lot more convenient to do it on the, um, uh, with a Google Sheet, right? So let me just click here, update. This year, the information now is on ManyChat. The next step is I gotta export this, all of this to my Google Sheet so I have the updated stages all the way, all right? So for that, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna create a separate automation. I like to keep my automation separate to keep order, to keep things tidy. So let's create a new automation here. Start from scratch. And I'm gonna call it update, up, up. Update CRM, uh, simple CRM. Let's call it update simple CRM, right? And this here is not gonna have any messages, it's just gonna have actions, all right? So the first thing that I'm gonna do here is an action, and I'm gonna go to Google Sheets. If you do not see this on your account, you have to go to settings, integrations, and connect to Google Sheet, and then you have that connected and you'll be able to um, just use this, right? This will appear, if not, um, if you don't, you're not seeing this at this stage, right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we want to insert a new row when a new person comes in, all right? 
I'm going to select here the Google Sheet that I'm going to use. Once this opens up, it's going to be the Playground Google Sheet. It's the one that we are using, this one. I'm going to use the simple CRM in ManyChat Worksheet, which, as you can see here, okay, there we go. Sign me out. There we go. One second. I've got a bunch of things here. Uh, there we go. And I'm back signed in. Uh, there we go. Just want to show this simple CRM in ManyChat. That's the sheet that I'm using. Let me make this bigger for you guys. There we go. Cool. Up next, we're going to upload this information, right? So whenever we do this, since I already configured a first row, ManyChat will just bring that first row as the information that I, uh, I have to fill, right? So I'm going to put here the contact ID, WhatsApp ID. I'm going to use the full name here. For this one, current stage, I am going to use the CRM stage variable that we created. And here on the last update, I have a timestamp um, timestamp custom field on my bots. I'm going to show you how to do it. This here is a date time custom field that I just use to keep the timestamp when the instant when something happens, right? So cool. I'm going to save this. And now let's do a couple more things. I'm going to set a user field timestamp with the date and time of the action. My idea here is to have this here, the last update, always with the when this last update happened. So if I do it with the set with the date and time of the action, I get this action and I can push this into my Google Sheet. So I'm going to move this first, right? We first want to set the custom fields with that value and then we push it to the Google Sheet, right? We save it. Cool. Now, if I'm going to run this, I'm going to have a problem here, right? Is that whenever I run this, I'm going to see ManyChat doing what I programmed it to do, which is insert a new row. So if I run this multiple times with my scenario, if I put this here in each of these steps here, I'm going to see several rows with the same information, changing current stage and change the current update. Okay. So what we do here is we do a logic to make sure that the first time the Google Sheet action happens, we are doing an insert row, and all the next times, whenever we have to update it, we are actually doing an update row, okay? So here, there's an, here's an easy way to do it. On this action here, I'm gonna add a tag, add a new thing, and this tag is gonna be uh, contact entered into CRM. I'm gonna create this tag here, do this, all right. So this is the logic that we're going to do. We're going to put a condition here. And if the person does not have the tag contact enter into CRM, we're going to do here, add new contact to CRM. But if they are already on the CRM, and I'm just going to duplicate this here to make it easier, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do an update contact on CRM. All right. So how does this change here? First of all, I will not need a tag anymore. The set user field with the date and time, I'll continue to use this one. But the insert row, I have to change, right? And the only way to change it is to remove it and add a new one. And then we're going to select the Google Sheet action. And instead of inserting a new row, we are going to update the row. ManyChat is going to make me set this up again, so I'm going to select again the Playground. I'm going to select the Simple CRM in ManyChat Worksheet. Sheet. And here's the thing, right? Since we are updating, I have to tell ManyChat what criteria it should use to look for that contact and update it. So we're going to do here, we're going to use the contact ID. This is the unique ID that ManyChat gives to each user on your ManyChat account. So it's by definition the best ID that you can use for these kinds of things. Lookup value, it's going to be the contact ID of the person. And then we are going to update the data. Update the data. I don't need to update everything. The only thing that I need to update is the current stage and the last update. So let's uh, update it. This was called CRM stage. And this one here, I was using the timestamp variable, which I already set here before, right? So cool. All right, so I built this once. I'm going to set it live. 
And now I have to connect this to my automation. Okay. So when do I want to update this? When do I want to do these actions? I want to do them after I set the CRM stage and before the person gets the message. Right. So let's do this now. I'll come here, do a start automation, and this is called Update Simple CRM. So I'm going to look for the flow called Update Simple CRM, this one here. Perfect. Once I have this created, I really don't care what's inside it, I just know it's going to work. And then I'm going to connect it whenever I want to do the update, right? So I connect it here and connect it here. Opa. There you go, connect this. I'm going to update this here, put this here in the middle, and do this one here. And let's do a new one here when the person, oh, this is the wrong place. This should not go here. This is, I first have to update to put the action, and then I run the automation, and then again, action, then automation. Cool. So let's do the magic one here, auto arrange, and just take a final look to make sure that we have, okay, so the person enters here, we move them into prospect we update the CRM. When they click, I move them to interested, I update the CRM. When they click, I move them to got quotation, update the CRM, and finally when they click, I move them to client and update the conversation. Cool. So I'm gonna just update this here to make sure it's working. And if you look into this here, I have this here running with the message mini funnel, right? So if I go to my WhatsApp bot and click on mini funnel, this is gonna run which is exactly what I'm going to do right now, right? So let's, I have here the Google Sheet. I have my phone here on WhatsApp. Let's resume the connection here. And let's test this out. There we go. Let's come here and click on, oh, mini funnel, mini funnel. That's the magic word to start this, right? So as soon as this happens, look what happened. It pushed me, pushed all my information. There we go. I should, yeah, there we go. Push all my information to many, uh, to the Google Sheet. And as I programmed, it put me as a prospect and it updated the date and time. It was the last, this was last updated, okay? I evaluate this information, whatever. I'm ready to move on to the next stage. So right now I am interested. And let's see how this update is automatically there. Right there and th right then and there, if you picked it up, we moved it here to interested, right? Um, and the time updated also, right? So oh, there you go. N right now I'm interested at 9.01.37. Once I click this again, I'm gonna move to got, got quotation at 9.01.58 now, right? And last step here, when I become a client, I'm gonna click this again and I'll become a client at 90209, all right? So this is a very simple setup, a very simple CRM that we can do. We've done these things for clients, expanded it quite a bit and done a much more uh, robust and with much more information. But if you're getting started this year, it will help you get your, um, help you get your first customer status and first customer dashboard going and this is a great start if you don't have it yet this is an awesome great start right and then you ex can expand on it also one advantage of doing this here separately is that right now you have all your automation all your crm flow in this logic here right in this automation here so if you say okay i've used google sheets for a while now love it but i need more you just have to change this automation here to connect it to another CRM to add more functionality to your Google Sheet. You just change it once because you did it, you made your setup modular, right? And really, the, the things that you can do with ManyChat and Google Sheet are endless. Uh, it's very, very versatile. And uh, simple CRM is just the beginning, just one of them, right? So, all right, hope you like this video, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.